Hi, Dr. Shu here, broadcasting from Lyme Plastic Surgery here in Los Angeles. Today we're going to talk a little bit about upper lip lift, which is to remove some of the skin below the nose and lift up that upper lip, um, really to get a more rejuvenated and younger appearance. Um, best candidates and the most common candidates that I see for this surgery are usually people who are a little bit on the older side. Um, essentially, our upper lip does actually get longer as we get older, and it actually sort of um, curls in toward the teeth. Um, I think that's partly a result of just the natural aging when our skin and our uh, tissues stretch out, and also a little bit of volume loss too. And so those two things uh, together kind of work to make the lip look a little bit longer and kind of curl inward. So with this surgery, what we're trying to do is reverse those things. Uh, take out some of the extra skin that's been elongated over time, uh, lift up the lip, and in doing so, sort of unfurl it and kind of from the furling that wants to happen with age, sort of unfurl it to show the, the normal red lip um, a little bit more and look a little bit younger. It's surprising to patients that actually the upper lip really does contribute a surprising amount to um, an older facial appearance. It's one of those things that our brain sort of unconsciously register. When we meet patients and we, or so when we meet people on the street and we see them at parties, um, that's actually one of the things that our brain registers as a little bit of an older face. And I know that because I've seen a lot of patients um, after surgery who had a lip lift, um, and it's surprising that a pretty small procedure really does make them look younger, actually. So the best candidates, as I said before, are patients a little bit older, wanting a little bit of rejuvenation, um, patients who have uh, lips that are kind of uh, visibly elongated. Um, most times patients know this themselves. They will come and they say, yeah, my lip's always been a little long, or I've really noticed it really changing over the past, you know, five, ten years. So those are really the best candidates. With regard to how the surgery is performed, the idea is to remove some of the excess skin that's accumulated over time. So we'll, I'll typically do that by removing some of the skin just below the nose to, in order to hide that scar right at the junction of the nose and the, the skin in this area. Sometimes quite a bit, really depending on the patient's um, uh, lip length. And we want to remove as much as we can to get a younger appearance. But of course, not so much that patients has difficulty, you know, closing their mouth or um, or it would look uh, like it's too lifted. Of course, there's a balance to be achieved, and um, and usually that that works pretty well. Um, by removing that skin, we then can essentially lift up the remaining skin up toward the nose, and that shortens the lip and also lifts it. Um, and lastly, also achieves that goal we said earlier about unfurling the lip and sort of um, uncurling it so that people can see more of the red lip when they're or when they're looking at people directly from the front view. With regard to post-op recovery, uh, patients will have stitches in for about a week. We usually take out the stitches at post-op day seven. Um, really tiny stitches done so that there's really a minimal marking. Um, and then they'll need to do a little bit of scar massage and uh, maybe some um, scar gel afterward just to, to minimize the appearance of, of any scar that you could see. And that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward procedure. It takes about maybe an hour or so, hour and a half. Um, and it's a, it's a nice little rejuvenation to the face.